episode of Dallas Oda Diag. Um, I'm sitting inside a 2012 Ford Focus. A customer complaint is check engine light. And uh, I've been here before. Uh, I do a lot of work to this uh, uh, used uh, auto uh, lot. The, uh, the owner actually told me to look at it and uh, it had a code P285E in the transition control module. So I told them, listen, uh, let me advise you. I didn't even charge them, by the way, for the for that Diag. I was like, listen, uh, you just bought the car from the auction and you don't know what happened before. So let's uh, clear the code, uh, drive the car. Cause I, I test drove the car and the car drives perfect. There is no issues and they drove it too. Uh, it is just that check engine light for that code. And um, so I told them, let's drive the car uh, let's reset everything drive the car for two three days make sure that it passes inspection and uh, if it does then sell it It might be an old uh, Code you never know. We don't have anything from uh, any history uh, for the car um, And we did actually we cleared the code they drove it for a week uh, code never came back uh, They had a buyer for it the buyer gave them the money everything is fine They went to pass inspection and guess what it passed inspection so the question why I'm here on their way back from the inspection station to the lot check engine light came back on for the same code so the uh, owners of this lot they're uh, really uh, uh, honest uh, they could have just delete the code and let it go the car is transferred but they said no let's uh, fix it before we uh, sell it so they gave the money back and they call me and here I am uh, dealing with the same code um, let me show you guys on the scanner. Here's the check engine light. The car has, what is it, 155,000 miles on it. And uh, the code is P285E. Uh, shift fork A actuator circuit high. I uh, did a lot of research at that time. And uh, I want to share with you guys again what I found. Um, these are these are the codes all these codes they're called the shift fork actuator electric fault if you have any of these codes then this apply to you see uh, shift fork a fork b fork a fork b circuit high circuit low performance circuit high uh, circuit intermittent all of them so and it says possible uh, uh, sources, this should be causes or sources, yeah, source of, of the issue. Connectors damage or push out terminals, corrosion, loss, uh, loose wires and missing or damaged seals. Shift drum motor one, shift drum motor two, TCM, transmission control module. So there is a, a pinpoint test and when it comes to those uh, fork codes it's uh, it's a long long test all has to do with the transmission issues but this is F section F is our concern here uh, so basically we are going to do this test uh, first it want us to read uh, codes and then check if there is any codes related to system voltage we don't have that and uh, if we do then we have to go to another test we have to fix the system voltage uh, drop first before we fix the transmission codes because transmission codes might be an effect not a cause so if we don't which is in our case we go to f2 f2 check uh, for shift fork uh, diagnostic trouble codes which we have using a diagnostic scan tool retrieve all dtcs are dtcs present in our case is yes perform the shift drum adaptive learning prefer to TCM module adaptive learning blah 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 six speed shift blah blah I can click here and go to the link but we're going to use the scanner to do this okay, so from the main menu we go to hot functions trans adaption TCM adaptive learning okay I'm gonna get everything on the screen you guys can pause and read this is the rest of it and we're going to say yes 
and here it's telling us that if uh, after this uh, adaption if there is any uh, codes we have to clear them we go yes let's do uh, transmission range sensor we have to do all three and earlier in that screen as you guys read if any of these uh, adaptions uh, fail that means we have either electrical problem or mechanical problem inside the transmission uh, that's a good indicator now I have the key on engine off all loads are off AC radio and uh, lights perform adaptive learning which you will calibrate the transmission range sensor from this finger as recommended. Service manual procedure, do which continuous. Make sure that the transmission gear like in the park. Yes, it is on the park. Place the gear selector in the lever position as indicated. Press the button once the proper gear position has been selected. The module will learn the position and prompt for the next gear position once completed after all gear position have been pleaded press ok to continue red color indicator the module is unable to learn the specific position function will not continue until the system concerns ok press ok to exit ok so park learn position park ok reverse have to put it on reverse and go I put it on reverse and I will reverse turn green neutral neutral drive drive and low which is sport and low okay function complete move the gear selected through the Here's gear positions to verify the transmission range sensor function properly. And I can verify right there, you see it? Park, reverse, neutral, drive, sport, okay? So press OK. Now we are on park, press OK. Key off. Okay. This is a hard reset to the transmission control module and if there will be any U codes uh, lost communication with TCM in any of the modules then we have to clear everything. So we'll do an uh, auto scan for the whole car and uh, delete everything before we hand the car to the owner. Okay, now we put the key on again. Shift drum. Check the two shift drum motors by reference their position. This activated by moving the shift drum both end stop and determine the maximum travel. Do you want to continue? Yes. It's on position. Okay. Make sure the transition gear selector and park. Yes it is. To press the brake pedal and hold. Okay.
function complete okay key off okay all right that indicates that the procedure is done correctly Sleepy. I was playing Call of Duty last night. What we got? Three wins, I think. Yeah, three wins. Key still off. Again, make sure your battery is good. Look, mine is 12.6. If yours is weak or you think it's going to give you problems, it's, it doesn't hurt to put a jump box on it or like a maintainer. Now we're gonna put key on, do the clutch. engine light is flashing I noticed from this function as recommended by a service manual do you want to continue yes key on make sure position park brake hold push the depth of learning Okay, that's cool. Everything passed, okay. Passed. Shift drum, depth of learning. Almost there. Okay, the other one passed too. Quickly, flash travel, test, passed. And passed. Error storage detection, deletion, my bad. Passed. Okay, start engine or crank for five seconds if engine does not start. Do not press the throttle. Okay. Make sure that the transmission gear selector in the park, it is. Depress the brake pedal and hold. Press the selector pedal to the floor. Press the selector pedal to the floor that the engine reaches maximum. Oh, my bad. Press the accelerator pedal to the floor so that the engine reaches the maximum speed during wide open throttle. Press OK to continue. Return. Oh. oh, I should have. I should have kept it. Test failed, a concern with the system is preventing the module from... Okay, so we have to repeat this. We have to repeat it. Mission off, okay. So now we know the procedure. I'm going to edit that, uh, that, mis that, that misunderstanding of me, uh, of the process. I'm going to leave it, so... Uh, you guys benefit from my mistake which didn't cause us anything we're going to do the process again and I'm not gonna uh, put you guys through uh, the beginning of it only that part where I messed up uh, I'm gonna give you that so stay tuned right. the brake pedal hold it Press the accelerator pedal to the floor so the engine reaches maximum speed during a wide open throttle. Here was the misunderstanding. I thought it wanted just wide open throttle one, but now we're gonna like this and hold it and press OK. Now I'm holding both the brake and the, uh, the gas pedal, or I call it the air pedal.
Okay, this is something different. Initiating the clutch touch point, depth and learn. Clutch is A and B. You know, this function will attempt to learn the engagement travel of both uh, clutches by engaging direct drive, overdrive, gear, blah, blah, engaging both clutches. Angela, the toy. In this criteria, the brake pedal be held actually I'm holding it continuously and the engine load remains stable release the brake pedal or verify engine uh, load will result in a double arm fail press ok to continue ok so I'm holding the brake and the car is running the engine is at operating temperature it is the transmission must be in the park position it is and all vehicle electrical accessories must be turned off they are and this uh, it is critical that the AC compressor is not activated during this it is off although I like it to be on but it's okay in our cases uh, my touch equipment vehicles may automatically turn the HVAC system back to on state following the, the system make sure that the HVAC is turned off before proceeding with touch point and learning procedure okay ready on hold I am holding it and press ok the RPM is being set to calibrated value waiting for engine idle speed to stabilize we are about Right under 1000 RPM, about 8, 800. I'm holding just the brake, not the, uh, not touching the, uh, the gas pedal. Alright, this is cool. I don't see any movement here, anything. It is quiet. Alright, clutch touch point learn unsuccessful. Before touch point termination response, engine torque disturbed. Make sure the non essential electric and AC, everything is off. What is that? This is off, right? Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, but it was off the whole time. And our charging is 14.3, excellent. And the very curious is vehicle, okay. Okay to continue. Alright. Set ignition to off. Okay. And I did release the brake pedal after ignition off. Do not break, do not press the brake pedal until instructed. Okay. I am not now. This wrong one that engine operating temperature, the transition must be, engine is at operating temperature right there. Transition must be in a park position, it is. In all vehicle electric axis, must be turned off. Critical that AC compressor, my touch will. Depress the brake pedal and hold. Okay, here we go. That's okay. Start engine, crank five. Do not depress the throttle pedal. 
it is better to start depressing your brake with your left foot because you're gonna use your right foot to do the uh, gas pedal so we are doing that Actually, no, we're not gonna do that. We already did that before. Sorry about that. I don't. I don't mean to confuse you guys, but around eight thousand RPM, uh, eight hundred, less than a thousand RPM. Okay, I think it failed at A earlier, right? Okay, I don't want to jinx it. Let's just keep watching it. Slowly moving. Okay, clutch adaptive learn successful. Clutch. Uh, touch point, 12.3 millimeter passed. 14.66 millimeter passed. Okay, that's cool. Successful complete of the clutch touch point adaptive learn uh, eliminates the need for the vehicle adaptive drive road test. Press OK to exit. Okay, that's cool. I'm still gonna give the car to the customer to drive it. Again, this is just shutting down the TCM completely. And. Um, I'm gonna stop I and mean, I know I gave you guys uh, enough uh, <laughs> looking at bars moving slowly okay I just did a full scan to the vehicle and as I said we're gonna have a U code which is invalid internal control module monitoring that I received from TCM and uh, also the CAN, uh, CAN bus uh, codes are normal that's gonna rain some module all right, so I'm gonna quick erase everything. All right, pass no fault. All right, the light is off. Now at this moment I'm gonna stop, give the car to the owner, let him drive it, make sure everything's okay, the coach is not gonna come back, hopefully. If it does, uh, we will probably come back with a part two for the uh, 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 notes about uh, probably pin fitment and stuff before changing the transfer control module. I don't think we're gonna get a new one here, I think they have a couple transmissions in the back I've seen them before we might use uh, a transmission control module from one of them but uh, stay tuned